Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. As always, it's your girl, it's your favorite YouTuber, Owen Tofe. We're doing what if this is your first time stopping by, do not make it your last. Kindly click on the subscribe button, like this video, and share it to other people. As the title says, your girl went to NYC camp, guys. And so I decided to share my experience with you as well as give you some tips on what to expect, what to bring, and you know, just just with you guys about my NYC experience. So NYC is the National Youth Service Corps program that everyone, especially if you want to have a professional life here in Nigeria, would have to go to right after they are done with higher institutions. It was established in 1972 by the then president of the country, which was Yakubu Kuwon. So NYC was made with the intention to foster unity among the different states and the different ethnic groups in Nigeria. The program basically runs through a whole year. If you were born somewhere, you'd be posted out of that place to another state so that you could serve the country there for at least one year. You could serve the country in a privately owned or a publicly owned organization there. And so you find people after their NYC year or during their that NYC period falling in love developing themselves professionally in that state or building a new life for themselves in that state so for the sake of this video I will be dividing it into three segments so the first segment would be things you need when coming to the NYC camp the second segment would be the whole registration process and the third thing would be the activities that go on in camp you will need your call up letter, you need your COVID sleep, then you need your green sleep, then you have to go with your school ID card, then you will need your statement of results or your certificate, then you need your medical fitness certificate, you will need passport photos. So those are all the things you need for um, Abuja camp. So the registration process started with us doing a COVID-19 test. You're not allowed to do any other thing until you've done this test. And then we start off with registering and then we would have our test done. I would say that this process was actually fast because the time it took for us to sit and wait while having about 70 people ahead of us do the test and then get our results wasn't up to an hour to 18 minutes so yes the process was actually fast and this was just me trying to get comfortable doing this test again because nothing prepares you for the discomfort you have when you are doing this so after we get our test done and our results signed we then go to get our bags checked to be sure that there's nothing prohibited that we are bringing into the camp like hangers drugs and all that so they decided to then give us refreshments which was pretty nice of them because we actually wasted a lot of time doing that process and then that was it so after that place it, the next place is to get our accommodation because obviously you can't be carrying your books everywhere so you'll get your accommodation and then you register in your hostel and you get your bed the room had um i think 20 bunk beds but thankfully i don't know if it happened in other camps in abuja camp they will first fill up the down um down portion of the bunks before they fill up the top portion of the bunk and luckily okay, for me and my friend we didn't get anyone on like our bunks like on top of our bunks so we had the bunks to ourselves so this hostel had about three rooms that had three toilets three bathrooms and three sinks in each of them and this is what would service about 160 girls give or take in the hostel so it wasn't that bad if you knew when and where to use hey guys, i'm tired <laughs> we finally got an accommodation Sha. now we're going to like do really like registration so that we can just get everything done today and tomorrow we are just um settled so that's what's going on everybody's just angry <laughs> <Tired. Tired. laughs> so yeah that's what's going on you guys so here I was at my platoon stand trying to finalize my registration process. I was really drained at this point because I spent over two hours at this setting place because they took the light. Sometimes I was supposed to take one hour. But yeah, my friends and I decided to go to the mommy market to get food to eat and escape the drills for the evening. 
So in the mornings, we start our day by doubling up to the parade by 4.30 a.m. After they've blown that they're annoying big old. You will go to the parade ground to, you know, do morning devotions. Any announcement they want to give, majorly, they'll give it on the parade ground. After that, we'll participate in some drills because you guys, it was cold early in the morning. So the drills is just to make sure that we are not still sleeping and that the cold has left our body. After that, then we would start with the march pass yes my favorite part of the morning was when we had to leave because it was tiring and exhausting so i came to need to come and eat because i've not been eating well i'm usually losing weight the shorts that i brought to come that were my size before i came the waist is not my size again i'm not losing weight it's becoming your free so yeah the best thing that happened to me in this camp was when I discovered that they were selling masa. This is so light. I really love masa. So this was what I was eating most of the time early in the morning. And then I'll eat this or I'll have fries and eggs. Or if I went to the kitchen that day, I would have bread, eggs and tea. So I think the most boring part for anybody that went to camp would have to be the side slash NYC lectures. These things take a whole lot of time from 9 to 2 p.m. Me like this, I used it as the opportunity to sleep the sleep that I could not sleep during the night because it was just so tired. The NYC lectures are basically to tell you about things that you're supposed to expect while you're going through the whole NYC process for the whole one year. My favorite NYC lecture, that one I did not sleep inside, it was when Kule Remy came. You guys, I was so close to this man, I was blushing anyhow <laughs> because I'm a big fan of his. So yeah, I really enjoyed seeing him there, just being part of the whole process. The side lectures were to train us on how to be successful entrepreneurs. Well, I did learn some things. At first, I started with um, shoemaking, but it, was, it wasn't it was something I was really interested in. So I moved on to cinematography because, you know, I'm a YouTuber. And I actually enjoyed my classes here. Like, my classes were really, really good here. At the end of the side lectures, there was an inter-platoon competition on sewing, gilly time, makeup, bead making, and shoe making. I got to represent my platoon as the model, so I had to wear everything everybody made that day. You guys, people are talented because these people did all these things within a few hours. I think it was from, it was about six hours they did all these things. So after side lectures, OBS members will make their way to the studio to kick off programs we'll be having in the studio. So I was part of the continuity announcers. I also took the news sometimes and my favorite part was being part of the health matters topic. So during the health matters, we would invite guests to, you know, talk about certain topics like personal hygiene, drug abuse. We invited people from NDLEA. We invited doctors to talk about these things. And I feel like this was my most memorable part of camp. The OBS made camp worthwhile for me, not going to lie. It was really amazing. The people there were just beautiful. My boss, the most amazing woman ever. So after that, we would take a break, go to the mommy market to get lunch to eat because there was no time to get food and after we get the lunch we'll bring it back to the obs and we'll spend our day eating at the obs studio so this was me receiving the transportation and bicycle allowance that they were giving everybody and i took it to go and spend it at the mommy markets because <laughs> what else would i do with the money so yeah that's what we did like you could see a lot of us were very tired during this period it really was just sad <laughs> i don't know why but yeah So after we do our afternoon programs, we usually end by 4.30, we'll make our way for the evening parade. My platoon had our manual drills in the evening and I was so proud of myself. I did everything there, every single thing. I felt like a big girl. So 
in the evenings were also the times where we had like sporting activities into platoon sporting activities my platoon was doing so well at first but i don't know why we fell off i thought of people playing volleyball at first but then i felt they falling sick so i couldn't finish playing volleyball with them and yeah platoon four i don't know those people they were just carrying all the trophies everything they were carrying but i really love their energy like they put their effort into everything and i feel like they actually deserved everything they got so this was just them celebrating and having for me if i joined them because they are my neighbors i was platoon five i'll join them in their celebration <laughs> i really love the people in this part so i'm not going to lie they were really 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 nice people after the evening period i would make my way to the mummy market with my friends to just get something to eat and rest that was the only time i felt like we could actually rest during the day later on in the evening we would have social night so during the social nights, we'd have talent coming up for talent hunt. Are you ready? Are you ready? Yes, I am. They say you a superstar now, damn. I guess I am. You might be the man, what well, is unless I am? <laughs> okay, I'll confess I am. Go ahead and get undressed. I am. Okay, cool. You want sunset? I am. I'm about to slide, okay. I'm outside, okay. This lifestyle don't got many downsides. Except Other challenge like we had the most big, bold, and beautiful. Sure I got visions of my mom saying, wait, this house is mine. Can't lie, I'm on Angus Cloud 9. I got him on the band, I get down about time. Tall I ain't even got no time. Song. Every time I speak, she say, yeah, that sounds fine. I've been a throw up the sex in a. Hey, Mr. Macho. Mr. Macho was the funniest to me because, bro, <laughs> the expressions the men were making <laughs> were too funny. Uh, we also had some guest artists come and perform. We had Beat FM one night, and the next night we had a program held by Chooks the General and called by Yaga. And the message we were trying to just push out was that we should vote during the upcoming election. So Chooks the General brought out some of our olden day phase which were um phase style plus and some other artists so yeah that's what we did it was a fun night honestly it was a really really fun night for me So finally, the biggest event I believe that happened on camp was the cultural day. Unfortunately, I was sick throughout that day, but my friends helped me get some clips and this is what I'll be showing you. My platoon, platoon number five, were representing the baggy tribe or more the men in my platoon that did this hunter dress up or what this hunter costume if you can call it a costume were very brave because bro their chicks were hanging out <laughs> but they were very brave and they took one for the team so this was our last full day at the nyc camp and it was very sad because everybody just knew that this was like the last time we'd be seeing each other in a very long time all at the same place and at the same time we had our favorite shout out show we're just shouting out to everybody and honestly i nearly cried like these people were amazing people they made my day at the obs studio and then later in the night our boss the sweetest of the sweetest madams literally sponsored our night sponsored our dinner she was like we should just have fun and enjoy ourselves and this was just the head of programs at the obs praying for us and saying that everything was going to go well during our service year like it was sad but yeah i i, I really enjoyed it so the next day we had 
our passing out parade and after the passing out parade everybody just started telling everyone bye bye people were just disappearing one by one and then we started telling each other bye we danced a little bit and then we made our way out of camp my friends and i we left camp sad but excited i was excited to go back home <laughs> So I would rate my whole camp experience a 4 on its own but the people there, especially my OBS gang, my OBS members, they made it really interesting for me, they made it really worthwhile for me so they took it from a 4 to a 7 but I would miss certain things in camp, I would definitely miss the soldiers you know, like they put up a lot with a lot of our shit, I'm not gonna lie on all the insults all the doubling up all everything like they were making us do like it wasn't like to punish us really like you just walk and do shout move your government body are you a winch move double up all those things i'm like the vibe there was different so yeah i would miss it would i want to go back no i would not want to go back in this life or any life would i advise anybody to go well depending on what you want it's a good opportunity to network and meet people and you know just experience life out of your house but the stress the stress is a lot like i'm even shocked i still look like this i thought like i'll be looking like a skeleton by the time i came back because the stress is a lot but then i'm thankful for it because got to meet amazing people and i'm grateful for them so yeah that's the end of my video i love you guys so much see you guys in the next one bye